For more on all of this, we are now joined by Republican Congressman from Texas and member of the House Financial Services Committee, Lance Gooden. Congressman, thanks so much for joining us on your Saturday. You. We appreciate it. Nice to see you. To I want to first start off with these uh, fresh Fox polls. Let's bring up this one in particular um, about the financial situation that Americans are finding themselves in. It really paints the dire picture that we are in right now. 47% of Americans that were polled here say they are falling behind congressmen. That is quite a ways away from the 27% back uh, just a year ago when, by the way, we were still coming out of the pandemic. Congressman, last week I talked with a man in Nevada, a father of two, who told me that he um, is thinking about walking to work now in 109 degree weather out in Las Vegas because he cannot afford gas. Many people are finding themselves in this situation. This is not the American dream. People have jobs, but this is not the American dream. Where do you see it going from here? When does it get better? Well, uh, unfortunately, I worry that it won't get better for quite some time, uh, hopefully long before uh, House Republicans and hopefully Senate take control in January. But the Biden administration is continuing to, to pour expensive gasoline on the, on the fire here. Uh, they refuse to acknowledge that this is their fault. They're blaming Russia. They're blaming oil and gas companies who I'll add are at max capacity. We're asking for more capacity. We're asking for this government to get out of the way and release the full potential of the American energy industry, which President Trump did before he left office. And unfortunately, between now and when Republicans take over, I worry that things will get worse. My constituents are feeling the pinch, and it's a very tough one. Single moms are feeling uh, very much uh, an increase in prices at the grocery store, at the gas pump. Senior citizens are very much struggling, and the American people are fed up. And this president is pointing fingers at everyone but himself. And we, we need the president to step Step up, accept responsibility, and change course. Yeah, let's talk about inflation because that's only getting worse as well. Um, the Fed took a pretty aggressive move this week in raising the interest rates by three quarters of a point. And some are saying, some economists are saying that this is going to get us into a recession pretty fast. The administration, though, says that that is not inevitable. What do you make of this? Do you think it's in inevitable? Uh, the answer is I don't know. I certainly don't trust anything this administration says. I do have uh, some faith in Jerome Powell. I believe that he, he knows that he's got to help get the president out of this mess, even if it's not his fault. Um, but unfortunately, uh, one of the problems we're facing is a result of this excessive spending the Democrats were pushing. If you recall back in March when Build Back Better seemed to have a chance, when the American Rescue Plan was passed, uh, Republicans like myself were criticized and mocked and set called heartless, and now we've all been vindicated. And in fact, all this money that's been poured into the economy has proven disastrous and increased inflation. We have Democrats admitting that Build Back Better should never even be considered. And what we on the Republican side are saying is all this unspent money, I believe there's $500 billion or so from this March package, it needs to be pared back. We need to stop pumping uh, dollars into the economy. We need to pull back. We need to get inflation under control and avoid a recession if we can. Let's get some more reaction from you on these uh, latest Fox News polls. President Biden, um, his approval rating continues to sink. Uh, let's bring this one up. 57% uh, now view him negative to, negatively. 42% uh, view him positively. It just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And one of the biggest criticisms that this administration continues to take, particularly the president, Congressman, is that they're not taking responsibility. Yes, things are bad. Um, some things might be out of his hands, but to not take responsibility and to continue to blame things on whether it's Putin or whether it's we're still coming out of COVID or the supply chain crisis, anything and everything except for what the administration is doing. Um, what's your reaction to these polls? I think that the gas prices are going to be a killer for him between now and the midterm elections in just a few months. Uh, there are very few things uh, that could uh, improve to help him uh, and help Democrats keep Congress. I can't imagine them doing it uh, because I can't imagine them getting to the point where they actually admit that they shouldn't have approved all of this spending earlier in the year, where they should back off this Build Back Better plan, uh, where they should actually come out and say, let's unleash the full potential of the U.S. energy uh, industry. Until that happens, I think we're on a crash course uh, for Democrats come November. Uh, but the one thing I hear back home uh, and from this poll so frequently is this administration doesn't take responsibility. I think that'd be a great first step uh, for the American people to see this uh, Biden administration say what we're doing is wrong. Let's change course.
And Congressman, really quickly, I mean, you work um, all the time at the Capitol. I have to get your reaction to this story that just broke um, in the last uh, day. Steve, the Stephen Colbert show staffers that were arrested for wandering in the Capitol hallways without an escort, without credentials. Um, someone let them in, some congressional aide let them in and then sort of ditched them and let them have their way with the Capitol. Your reaction to that, I mean, especially on a day where we're talking about the January 6 hearings, do you not find this all ironic? Very ironic. I also am anxious to hear more uh, of this story. I've only read and seen what I've seen on the news. But in my experience, if someone seems harmless, the Capitol Police would just ask them to leave. I am curious uh, what led to them actually being arrested. What was uh, actually I, happening. I suspect yeah. there was more to the story that we'll find out in the coming days. We sure will. Thank you so much for joining us on this Thank Saturday. You. We always appreciate it. Come back soon. Thank you, Congressman. Thank Griff? you. Take care. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.